Hello YouTubers, Zero to 100 here and as you can see I'm out and about again. The weather has been terrible. So to open the season here at home I've decided to go for a ride and talk to you a little bit about my new helmet that I have uh, purchased, the uh, Shubath C3 Pro. So, why the Shubath C3 Pro? Well, guys, let me explain. I did a bit of research and uh, I wanted to get something comfortable. I wanted to get something light. I wanted to get something that had a little bit of a uh, better ventilation to my previous helmets for riding in the hot sun. Now, I do a lot of long distance touring. Those of you that follow my channel will know that I've been uh, all over Europe with my bike. Now on the hot sunny days it uh, does become a little bit of a problematic if you do not have the air intake. So the main reasons why I bought the helmet. Number one, it is light. It weighs 1570 grams. It is one of the lightest in its class for a modular. Now it is a modular and the reason why I want a modular is if you're doing the, the, the tours and you stop by a petrol station, it's easy. You just lift the front chin guard over your head and you can have access and people like to see you and uh, you don't have to take the helmet off every single time. Yeah, For a quick stop, you just flip the chin up. Now, the other reason why I bought the Schubert C3 Pro is it is one of the quietest modular helmets out there. This thing has about 82 decibels and it is one of the quietest modular helmets available. Now Schubert has its own wind tunnel and uh, they check this and a lot of uh, research and development has gone into the design of this helmet which is another reason why I bought this helmet is it fits me really comfortably and the premium quality of the material is excellent it's got all this antimicrobial uh, fabric inside anti-sweat uh, it wicks up pretty well so besides that it is really really a quiet helmet it's comfortable it's light and the other reason is I can connect my GoPro and you will see this from uh, the front footage I can connect my GoPro still to the chin I like wearing my GoPro in front not on the side and uh, this is one of the modular helmets that allows me to do that the other thing is the visor comes standard with a pin lock which is awesome for days like today where the weather is still quite cool or in rainy weather where my god it fogs up and you've got to lift the visor and then the rain hits you in your face and it's just terrible with this one I've actually ridden it already in rain and it fogs up but the pin lock the difference is the pin lock because what the pin lock actually is is a second screen with a little bit of a air gap so it's not the screen on top of the screen it creates a little bit of an air barrier between the visor and the pin lock screen on the inside and this regulates the temperature inside and outside thus not allowing it to fog up and this is really great it works i've tested it i can ride with my visor completely down in the rain and still have clear visibility which if you don't have a pin lock it will not be possible and you have to raise the visor the visor itself is also excellent clear and there is no distortion so it's optically correct this is true for the sunshade as well yes the sunshade allows enough darkness to keep the blaring sun out of your eyes 
it is clear you can actually ride it when it is almost dusk and uh, it does not affect you as a matter of fact I've ridden this almost at night and uh, the visibility and clarity of the shades are still very very good but at the same time still keeps out the glare of the sun so again no distortion optically correct excellent 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 all round now the helmet itself is not like a huge lollipop that's the biggest problem with modulars what happens is the modulars that I've had because of the mechanism of the chin mechanism opening up they are huge they are round they are ugly it looks like you are a lollipop this one is very compact which is another reason why I bought it it's slightly round to oval and uh, it gives me a really comfortable wear so I don't have a huge helmet on my head so those are the, the main reasons why I bought the Schubert now it is a premium helmet it is expensive it is a DOT certified ECE and all of that so it's got its, its advantages of course and uh, I'm going to run you through some of the things that I do not like about the helmet so the one main reason uh, for the modular is of course you can lift it up even when riding one-handed operation and uh, I don't know if it's because it's new and it still needs to be uh, worn in but uh, I feel that I can open it up with one hand it's not a problem but to close it I feel that it needs uh, two hands to lock it into place the other thing is the actual chin guard is too close to my mouth for my liking I would have liked a little bit more room there now it's okay uh, but it's not brilliant uh, the other helmet that I had had a little bit more space and uh, the microphone for example was tucked away I've got a communicator it um, does not rub against my chin or my uh, mouth this one is really up close and there's no more room um, so it's not uncomfortable but it's always it's always there yeah it's always there and you can feel it and of course you've got the option to get a smaller mic but that means it's cable and then you can't have the whole modular uh, effect uh, other than that I think the other uh, gripe that I've got with the helmet is that it does tend to fog up a little bit more again the uh, pin lock is excellent but the um, helmet itself does fog up a little bit now my other one did as well but um, yeah it would have been good if they had kind of a uh, breath guard uh, built in right now I'm going to remove my touring screen and put the sportier one because uh, this helmet is designed and has really good ventilation and I mean really good ventilation so in summer it should be able to keep you cool but my touring screen doesn't allow for uh, the wind to get into the the chin vent which uh, does not help with the uh, fogging of course yeah again the pin lock of course uh, eliminates the fog and it's clear but you still see a little bit of fogging around the pin lock screen other than that I can really not fault this helmet it's a really a brilliant helmet and I'm going to give you some uh, uh, close-ups of the helmet when I find somewhere that I can stop and uh, do basically uh, the review of the helmet uh, off, off bike yeah and I think I'm going to do this in a short moment I saw a nice piece of open ground maybe we can go and do it there um, I chose the matte black version um, I like I've got a completely black bi black bike and um, I do like the uh, matte black although I do notice that it's a little bit of a finger magnet but then again so would the glossy helmets um, and anything uh, other than black would uh, show of course some uh, fingerprints yeah 
Again, the helmet is comfortable. It's a really good helmet. It is an expensive helmet. So um, over here in Poland, I paid 2,200 PLN for the C3 Pro. And um, can you get other helmets? Absolutely, yes. Right. You don't have to pay such a lot for a uh, premium helmet. But if you do, and if you are looking for something in this range that is uh, light, silent, comfortable, premium uh, materials and all of that, you're going to pay about 1500 and uh, even more. So I, I don't think it was all that expensive for what you're getting. And uh, there are definitely cheaper alternatives like the HJC. Um, it's an excellent helmet. They've got the ARF uh, Max series, which is also a modular helmet. And uh, you can save some money there. It's an excellent helmet. But um, this also offers you a lifetime warranty on the helmet itself. So if anything happens to the helmet, uh, quality-wise, the workmanship on this helmet is excellent. Being German, they will of course replace the broken part or the helmet altogether uh, and that is also worth something so all in all I'm happy I'm happy with the helmet the vents on this thing on top excellent and um, I'm looking forward to riding now you will see when I do my off, off um, bike review of the helmet um, the Senna I'm using the uh, Senna SMH10 communicator, uh, which is fitting, yeah, it's a universal communicator, and uh, it fits with no difficulties on this helmet. The only thing is you have to get rid of the uh, clamp system, and you have to use the, um, you have to use the uh, sticky, um, mount on the on the helmet and the reason for this is the clamp uh, would clamp down on the cables that the visor uses for uh, the sun visor and um, that's not all that good so here's a nice piece of open ground with some old buildings in the background let's stop here and do the actual off-road review of the helmet okay so this is what the actual helmet looks like as I mentioned it is a modular helmet so it allows you to have a complete open face like I said it's very useful when you stop at a petrol station and you don't want to take off the helmet if you just want to cool down you can ride with it but it's not advisable to ride like this um, so yeah this is where the helmet has its sunshades or the sunshade visor so he has the mechanism for it and as you can see it opens up quite nicely so uh, people have said that the spring mechanism is problematic so this is cable operated and one of the reasons that you need to use the sticky mount for the Senna SMH10 you can see my SMH10 over here it's a universal communicator the wires are fed into the back there right so that is the helmet right there and uh, some of the features is of course it's got these wind diffusers here which helps with the noise again it's an extremely quiet helmet it's got these two big air vents here it's got three adjustments it really works well I've been riding with this helmet for about a week now and uh, it's good now another reason why I bought this helmet is it's got room on the chin to connect your GoPro I like to have my GoPro connected to my chin in front of me like this the camera faces wherever you want to face and allows you to get more footage as 
uh, to have it statically mounted on the bike somewhere now yeah you have to break it up a little bit and you do and the static mounts are better but with this you can look at fellow riders and um, you can also stop a little bit of the jello effect having it mounted because the GoPro does not have image stabilization so this helps as well with image stabilization if you have the GoPro connected to your helmet as you absorb uh, most of the um, vibrations and shock there you can see the Senna SMH10 connected to the helmet it's got great reflective you can see there at the back so it's got some logos that reflects as well um, it's matte black so ride me over color some people say but um, it's got great reflective decals on it show you my baby the visor itself comes out completely to give it a good clean and you can actually see this is the actual pin lock here right on the inside which is removable of course and that's the anti-fog uh, system so guys that basically is the helmet in a nutshell again this helmet is very light the guts as you can see there are of premium quality I don't know if you can see that try to get some sun in there okay there we go all right so these white are the reflectors this mesh here is actually the exhaust so the helmet on the back it's got the spoiler which looks really nice again it helps with some downforce it it's got no other exhausts on the back but that black piece of material there that is actually the exhaust for the helmet the locking mechanism is actually great it's got some uh, extra cloth there so that the buckle does not irritate your chin or Adam's apple the helmet itself is really well designed and on the inside you can see it's got air vents which you can actually block um, with the material all in all it's a very smart helmet I'm very happy with it this is my review of the Schubert C3 Pro thank you for watching my channel zero to 100 adventure and I really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to hit the like button subscribe and share to help a guy grow his channel and if you want to watch more of my videos, please follow the links to the right. Thank you and hope to see you soon.